When 23-year-old Brianna Worthy of Ridgeland, South Carolina became pregnant with a little girl, she had a unique wish for her unborn child. Brianna wanted her daughter to inherit her hair, but that didn't mean she wanted her daughter to greet the world with shoulder-length tresses. Brianna wanted baby Miliana to receive a unique genealogical trait that's been passed down from her own mother. Known as poliosis, the condition Brianna inherited from her mother at right causes a bleach effect on the skin and a silver streak in the hair growing over it. Though the trait ran in Brianna's family, there was a good chance Miliana wouldn't inherit the signature streak. My younger sister that my mother had a few years after me didn't get it, Brianna said, so I didn't know if Miliana was going to. Well, on the day Miliana was born, doctors laid her on Brianna's chest and the new mom had her answer. That little rugrat had a streak of her very own. Like her mom, Miliana would be the star of any photo she took in the future, which Brianna admitted wasn't always such a good thing. I had several names such as skunk that kids would try to insult me with as a child, Brianna explained. Sometimes it would bother me, but I grew to end up really loving my hair. But would Miliana? Again, the new mother hoped so. I plan to raise my daughter knowing that she's beautiful and special and to not listen to people's mean comments at times, she said. The mean comments weren't the only downside to the look either. We definitely get stopped a lot while out and about on our daily routines, Brianna said. The majority of the time I welcome the polite comments and don't mind answering the many questions, but honestly it can be overwhelming at times. Talk about celeb status. Still, Brianna had plenty of good reasons to celebrate the beautiful look. It upheld a long family tradition. We're unsure how far back the birthmark goes, she said, as my grandmother was adopted as a child and hasn't met her biological family. Viewing the silver streak as a sort of familial point of pride, a feature that visually ties relatives together to their ancestors, was not something unique to Brianna and her parents, however. Living in Atlanta, Georgia, unrelated and unknown to Brianna, Latrice Barnes had a hereditary silver streak of her own. When she was born, however, the streak hadn't exactly been celebrated as it had been with Miliana. At her birth, doctors initially ran tests to make sure it wasn't a skin disease, she said, because she and her twin sister had the silver streak and their mother didn't. When Latrice had a child of her own, she hoped he'd have the streak. I'd prayed for him to have it because it's so unique and it connects us to who we are, she said. Her oldest son, Xavier, shown here, didn't inherit the trait, so naturally Latrice was nervous on the day her son Josiah was born. Would he have the streak? When Josiah was born, Latrice relayed, I had to have a C-section, so I couldn't see him right away. But I heard the nurse say, he has the streak, he has the streak. It was a cause to celebrate, especially given what her family believed about the silver streaks. The extended family believed the silver streaks meant you'd been kissed by an angel. Over 40 relatives and ancestors boasted the angel's kiss, and she was delighted Josiah would too. But just like Brianna, she had her anxieties as well. Latrice echoed Brianna's concerns. Growing up, it's hard to have the silver streak because kids tease you. They joke about it and call us skunk, she said. I've had cousins who died theirs because they didn't want it. Latrice, though, couldn't have been happier with her angel's kiss. As you get older, you realize it's good to be different, she said. I love mine and definitely embrace it now. Still, like it was for Brianna and Miliana, the streak can be a bit of a public attraction. I used to have to cover up Josiah's streak when we went out because we couldn't shop or get anything done, she said. It would draw crowds. People constantly asked her if she'd bleached her son's hair. But in the end, as was the case with Miliana, the good, as far as Latrice saw things, far outweighed the bad. Josiah had something that made him unique, but more importantly, something that would remind him of his family for the rest of his life. Families will always find something that connects them, whether it be a hairstyle, a profession, or a laugh, but all that can change. Brianna and Miliana, and Latrice and Josiah, however, all bear a permanent mark of their families. How cool is that? Families that grow silver streaks in their hair together stay together. What connects you with your ancestors?